Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. At this point in time, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to entitle this video, but by the time you're watching it, there should be a title down there. And here it goes. I did a cover of a group, English group called London Beat. The name of the song was Thinking About You. I've been thinking about you. Actually, one of my brother James' favorite songs. And actually, who that's who I dedicated the song to, my brother James. And uh, I got a, re a comment. And it's important that I do this video for beginners. Because you don't know what you don't know. That's one of my favorite sayings. You don't know what you don't know. And the comment reads like this. Hey, awesome, dude. Please make a beginner's tutorial for it. And my response is, what's this? It's not a beginner song. I repeat the comment and I repeat the question or the response. Hey dude, awesome. Please make a beginner's tutorial for this. And my response was, not a beginner song. You don't know what you don't know. If it was that simple that you never picked up a guitar and just somebody showed you, you know, in one sitting how to do this, everybody be playing guitar, you know. You know, I take myself and just about everybody from my, my era. I play, the, I play as well as I play for many reasons, and here are two good reasons. I paid somebody to show me how to learn how to play the guitar. Learn how to play the guitar, not learn the song. It's a big difference. And there's some people that don't understand that there's a big difference. And the reason why I'm doing this video to kind of, you know, lay out that there is a big difference. And I'm not presenting or doing this video in a negative manner. So, you know what you're doing. You know what you're talking about. You know, I'm just politely uh, addressing this and saying to you guys, if you really want to learn how to play the guitar or play songs, you got to learn how to play your guitar first. Which can consist of sitting down with a guy that knows how to play. He's teaching you how to play. You're paying him to teach you. And he's teaching you things like proper hand technique, proper strumming, reading notes, reading chord charts, learning structure of song, which is something that they really do. But I think in advanced classes they do. And that's how I'm able to map out songs or map out covers so quickly. Because most songs got like two or three parts. They have an intro. They have verses. And all the verses, the chords in all the verses usually are the same. 99.9% .9 of the time. There's a B section, which is different chords still within the verse structure. Then there's the chorus. And, you know, usually there's three choruses or three parts. Or the chorus comes up three times in the song, usually. That's how it's structured. So, again, the chorus for the chorus and the first chorus is going to be the same as the chorus in the third, second chorus part and the third. So only thing I have to quickly determine is how many parts there in this song. Let me take one at a time. OK, let me tackle the, the verses first. What's going on chord wise there? OK, I know what it is. Boom. Put it to the side. Now let me listen to the chorus, the hook. What chords are they using in the chorus? OK, I learned to figure it out. Boom. OK, now I just put them together. And the way this songs are normally structured. It's pretty universal, but not totally, because there's some songs, like a lot of Beatles songs, they usually put in the hook at the beginning of their song to say, hey, we're going to hit you right in the face right now. But for the most part, most songs are structured like this. Intro, if there's an intro, because a lot of times you like to have an intro to kind of build up to say, I'm about to go into this. Then there's the verse. And most songs, there's usually not a B section. And then there's the hook. So, uh, you know, so normally uh, there's a structure to it, you know, and uh, you can pretty well kind of feel your way through it and, and kind of determine what's coming up. But again, I post this video just to stress this. There's a difference between you not knowing nothing about the guitar, or just barely touching it and don't know what you're doing. And somebody going to teach you a song versus I'm going to teach you the theory behind the instrument so you can play thousands of songs. It's kind of like that old saying, if you feed, you can, if you feed him, how did, I'm about to mess this up. If you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man how to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. It's the same thing a plastic guitar. If you teach someone how to play the guitar, they can play thousands of songs. If you just teach them how to play one song, they just learn one song, you know. So I'm going to sign off, but again, 
I thought this video was important as far as to begin as to say there's a difference between somebody just teaching you one song, you trying to memorize finger placements, and you don't know why your what your hand is holding up under there as far as the chord. Somebody asks you, what's the name of that chord? I don't know. I just watched that dude on the internet and put my fingers where he told me to put them. Versus someone teaches you chord structures and you know how to maneuver around the neck and say somebody asks you, hey, play a C major seven. Boom, there it is. Play it in the second version. Boom, there it is. Play it in the third opening version. Boom, there it is. You should be able to do that for all the chords in three different positions. Open position, which is uh, the fretboard from one through three. Then second position, because technically there is more than three inversions. You can actually do literally hundreds as far as how you combine the chords and build chords. But as far as writing and the songs that you hear, you know, I, I would actually say just about everything you hear on the radio now for the last 50 years, uh, they use certain chords and certain inversions. They don't do a whole lot of extravagant chords like Andy Aria does. She does. Uh, Steely Dan does. So, you know, if you're going to play their stuff, yeah, you're going to have to dig out the chord book or figure out these inversions because they're not going to just give you a simple bar chord, C chord, and, you know, a, a, a D9 chord built on the A string, which is not difficult to finger. You know, so, but for the most of it's just, just basically basic bar chords, open chords, and just bar chords and different inversions. So if you can learn at least three, you can get away with actually two. You know, uh, the open thing, you can get away with not knowing that unless you're playing folk music. Because you do have to know all that, the, the open chords and folk music. And then country and western music. But if you're playing funk, uh, R&B, pop, a little jazz, you're going to need to know those inversions built on the E string and the A string. And I have DVDs one through seven that will teach you how to become a good guitar player. You know, none of this dabbling and don't know what you're doing other than somebody told you to put your finger here. And you don't know why you put your finger there. Over seven hours of me teaching you what I know. And, and I learned from a, a lot of, well, actually, I would say two good music teachers because I went through about 15 of them until I found two guys that can uh, show me what I needed to know to become a good guitar player. You know, so, uh, DB is only $35. You know, that bundle was, would literally be worth $250 easy because what I teach you in there, a lot of the stuff the uh, traditional music teachers don't even think about, like learning structure of song. Nobody ever told me that. Nobody mentioned it to me. I just figured it out one day. You know, I said, okay. You know, it just, the light bulb came off, came on, you know, but uh, again, 35 bucks, PayPal information right there. It goes out the very next day. Uh, priority shipping with track and if you outside of the United States add an additional $15 so on that note I'm going to sign off whenever I can post stuff that will help you guys I do it because that's how I learn people passed on information to me and say hey thanks you know because there's some stuff that my keyboard player taught me 10 years ago that I still use and it's very helpful you know and it's things like that that you pass on information and people absorb it and they keep it you know, because this is something that you will basically keep for the, for the rest of the time you're playing. So until next time, take care and thanks for watching.